Hello everybody, it's Chuck. We're back. We are essentially now at the point of showing you some of the things we've done and kind of recapping. Um, right, so last we talked we said we were going to be considering the uh, the mods that we need in order to ore double and I wasn't sure if this would properly do what it needs to do and I stopped doing what it was doing but no it's doing it there's just a bit of an issue with the sterling dynamo needing to be primed all the time in order for it to transfer its energy so I don't know if that's something I could fix if I have like special pipes that extract energy and put it into a battery or something like that put a buffer instead um, but I kind of see that being a problem going into the future that it needs a primer all the time in order to constantly output. Um, so right now the energy situation is fine for doing what we need to do, which is to be grinding up our basic stuff and depositing it in here. I don't have this auto pulling into here because it doesn't um, smell. It what is just pulls everything into there and it smells like three different items at the same time and it won't it'll lock it up so it's not doing that I just add what I need and then it deposits up here I made myself a wrench so that I could rotate these things um, for that reason I also went and harvested um, lava put it in a tank there's 32 buckets in there or something like that in which that I can then dump into here in order to make them uh, energy we need to do to charge our mining gadget which we made also so this is another a uh, great mod. I really did this mainly because I needed something to get me obsidian, but I didn't want the durability to break my diamonds, so at the very least I can just keep on charging it to get the obsidian I need. Um, I also made some bronze so I can make myself a bronze set of armor. Um, and I also made myself some iron gloves. That's another little bauble thing that you can add. Where is it? Somewhere. Somewhere in here, hands. I don't know. There's some place where that is the case. <laughs> Whatever. Um, there it is. Iron gloves. I slotted into there just so I can have um, extra attack damage, which is kind of nice. Uh, I don't know what any of that is, but anyways. Um, so yeah, we're charging up our MK2 here um, so that we can do some obsidian mining, which we have our water bucket. Um, which we need to bring with us um, and then I'll just go ahead and do this so I also made a bronze pickaxe because bronze is cheaper than iron and it does exactly the same thing and that way we can just use up our copper um, bronze was made with uh, some easy stuff so let's see where bronze bronze is made with copper and tin so we wanted to make sure we uh, had that option available to us let's grab our MK2 for now um, this should start building an internal buffer and that at least has enough iron and uh, lava in it to at least start building the buffer here. Um, 500,000 RF is pretty significant and there's already a buffer in here in case I do need to smelt more stuff. We have a pretty reasonable amount of stuff for our purposes. What's nice about this is that grinding some of these things has like secondary outputs which has led to me getting gold dust which meant that I have not needed to mine gold recently so which kind of nice. So yeah, let's go get some um, obsidian. We could really use it. Um, oh, I never really went over what the pocket storage does. Pocket storage um, allows me to store up to 255 of a particular um, item in it, um, and then if I ever need it, I can always pull it, but then it really doesn't fill up lots of slots in here. Um, at some point, I will remove these because I will want to collect a reasonable amount of cobble for building purposes and things but for right now I don't need to do that I just kinda need to make sure my inventory is prioritized for things that we do need um, we definitely need um, you know more of the, uh, the the resources than we do need anything else so you know that's what we're looking at let's get ourselves over to the lava pit which is not far um, I heard lava in my underground area, and I thought maybe I could find it, but I just I can't seem to get a bead on it. So um, it is what it is. Uh, however, I'm noticing the sun is going down, so let's hopefully get there quickly. 
um, lava is just over on this other side here, so we should get there before fully sundown. Oh, I want to get some of that there for a compression dynamo. We could burn some oil instead. Um, to get a lava instead of doing lava all the time because lava is a precious resource. Um, all right, let's get. Hopefully, let's get this almost there. Let's see, we're gonna probably run out of daylight, but let's stay while we're here. Let's just go ahead and drop a few of these to reduce our chances of getting attacked. night while we're doing this. Hopefully that'll help. Alright. I don't know what ash is good for, but let's collect some while we can. Alright, so let's go ahead and see. So this isn't going to work particularly quick, um, but it will work. We need, we want to get to the nether so we can get some netherite um, and quartz. <gasps> no! Damn it. That's annoying. we got to stand closer. Otherwise we're going to lose our... <laughs> Obsidian. I just need it. I also need this to get um, Ender IO going. I need a block of obsidian just kind of there for me to get drops of infinity or whatever they call it. Um, I'm going to need that so I can make uh, dark steel or whatever it is. Or I need obsidian to make dark steel. Let's see if I can gather this without it burning me and losing it. Yes, okay, good. Um, good, so that means we could likely get this one. Yes. Yeah, that one's now obsidian sweet. Alright, so yeah, let's just continue to grab more of this. to this but I need the upgrade table or whatever it is to do it and I have not crafted that I think I need diamonds for that so we're not there yet and I, I don't want to rely on this um, as a mining tool I just I wanted something that I could at least get diamonds without having to having a real issue okay something that's gonna attack me I can see it now I'm already committed to this obsidian Scary bad things. You coming after me? You are. Are you gonna come? I'm trying. The trees are getting in your way. Ow! Spit at me or something? What's going on? What is going on? Got one. Things are annoying because they make a lot of noise. Kill him. Come here. Finally. You're dead. One more. Come on. 
swooping at me. All right, well, you seem to be distracted with that tree. Come on. You have like an annoying attack pattern. That means that you have to have like a clear path to me. Finally. Did you give me anything? No, you don't even give me anything. What a waste. Uh, sorry to bore you with that dumb fight. Anyways, let's get the last of this obsidian that we need. I need at least... I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten obsidian plus an extra one I need. <gasps> I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Get in the water. <laughs> yeah, this is bad. I could have easily just dropped a could have easily just dropped a butter bucket right here. But I want to use it to get more. There we go. Okay. We're back in business. We're not dying. We're healing. Alright, what do we got now? 14. Let's get one more to be safe. Excuse me. All right. We got what we need. We'll fight some zombies along the way, I guess. just in time for darkness to finally lift but whatever we got some good stuff oh, bolstering iron lands when attacked game resistance that's nice we might want to put those on instead we lose a little bit of protection but the extra cooldown reduction armor toughness knockback resistance I gotta figure out how to put things in slots but anyways let's get ourselves down here I think we're out of food, so we're gonna have to go make some more bread. Uh, okay, so we'll put this away, this away, this away. Uh, that away, this away, that away, that away. I don't even know, but that away, sure. Obsidian, I think with the avocado away, and the under pearl, I think I have here, yep. And then I need a block of obsidian to do that thing I was talking about. Alright, so we need to get
get some food because we are going to die. I don't want to eat those avocados. I have plenty of bread up here. We'll do that three times. We need these potato those potato okay potatoes not potato seeds oh I hear another ender pearl situation I see you on the map you keep glitching everywhere all right well you're gone I guess I don't have time to chase after a enderman right now on the rain at least all right, let's get this down here. All right, so now we've got that figured out. Let's get some food cooking. Osmium would, wouldn't cook in the uh, uh, regular thing for me, so. Oh, and I was also going to work on making coal coke. Ah, I remember now. Let's get our bread going. We now have a stack of bread, some stone. Osmian's cooking up two bricks that we could add to here. Do I have any more bricks? No, I left them. All right, and then potatoes should be cooking right here, so they should be done shortly. Put one more of you in there. Put you in here. All right. Eat. All right, so we've got our food in our system. We've got that all figured out. We've got our osmium, which we can put away. All right, and our potatoes, which should be finishing up shortly. Let's just wait on the last potato. I hate tiny coal but I have to use it because who knows how efficient this would actually be if I actually used that so let's just use that instead get this last potato and then we'll be all set to continue on to the next stage of things alright so what we need to do next let's hope that you're not no okay as I said I don't think there's a skeleton down here okay so we have this charging up that's gone that's filled up there but that's see this is what I mean like there's kind of this annoying situation where this doesn't output unless if there's some sort of buffer in here to start it and then it stops when the thing burns out I, I don't like that but anyways so I want to get into ender IO because I need to make dark steel and to make dark steel we need um, coal dust, which we have. We have iron and we have obsidian. So I can afford to make a few pieces because for an ender IO, I'm going to need to make, um, I need the grains of infinity, which is another weird thing. Hold some flint in your offhand, some deep slate or cobbled deep slate in your main hand. So I have to go find some cobbled deep slate. Oh, I could have just used the grindstone. Didn't have to be obsidian. Well, that's kind of nice because I get to save some save this block of obsidian um, but I need to I want to get an ender IO so I could use these as our making you know the machines um, the machines are going to be great because the machine oh the dark steel sword mm. uh, I was only used to get mob heads alright so dark steel block but yeah no I could use this to make uh, sag mills which I think I prefer over the other types because it'll grind, I believe, faster. But I could be wrong. I'll have to do a side by side. But the alloy smelter is my main thing, and I need two dark steel ingots, which I can't make unless I have. Um, oh no, I can make, I can make dark steel, right? I said that I could. Coal dust and obsidian, yeah, but I can't do it in the. I, I think I need to do it in the um, alloy smelter, which I believe primitive alloy smelter. Where is the primitive alloy smelter? Primitive. 
Oh, yeah, see, I need that Grains of Infinity and Deep Slate, so I need to go get some Deep Slate. That's going to be our main thing to do off camera here, but um, once I get the Ender I.O., that's going to be our next thing so that we can start doing those machines as well as that power capacitor. Um, can I do a capacitor? Basic capacitor. I need Grains of Infinity. There's always some hang up. Always. So that's what I need. I need um, I need to get the Grains of Infinity, which means I need Cobble Deep Slate. Which means I gotta go dig deeper to get to that, which I don't think I'm very far off from getting. But once I do that, I can get this whole situation kind of upgraded to the way that I want. I have enough of the other resources that I can make other things that I need. Um, but uh, um, well, I could almost make the Ender Chest. I just need Blaze Rods. Um, but I do need to make sure I have enough of these to go to the um, the Nether. So let's go ahead and get this kind of situated so that we can do that. Grab ourselves some flint and some iron for the flint and steel. Did I already make one? I don't think I did. No. So that's good. Let's go ahead and do that. And then let's figure out a place to put this. Now, I don't really want it on this level, but it might make sense to put it... Um, I don't like to keep it too close to my base, and I don't want it, like, above me. So let's let's um, let's go over down here. We'll go down to the iron level here, so it's further out of my way, and then we'll go all the way down here, and maybe we'll drop it right in here. And uh, I like to make a certain size. That should do it. I like the Zycraft. Okay, so we'll put two like that. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, and that should do it. There we are. Okay. So good. I still have four obsidian left over. And um, we'll go to the nether in a little bit. We're not going to go now. We are going to go at some point. Um, oh, look at that. A stack of that. Oh, and some coal. Um, uh, you know, I just want to get the basics started here. We're going to go to the nether, collect some nether stone. But when we go to the nether, I will bring you on camera for that. I don't want to do that just yet. Um, I need to make some, I know what I need to do. More hammers. Bring the hammers. Now, I, I do want to get out of the use of using hammers. Um, they are fine and all, but they break so quickly. And I don't know that it's going to be a long-term viable solution for us. Um, we need to find a better 3x3 three three option, which is why I thought maybe I might use the um here we go I thought maybe we might use the uh, other option uh, of the MK2 but I just I don't like the idea of using it because it's, it's so overpowered by comparison um, to many other things so I just don't really want to get down that road just yet even though I know it'll make life so much easier for mining and maybe we will just because we do want to be smart on time with this. I don't have a lot of time to play the game, and I've never gone the path. I mean, it's still expensive to upgrade things, but it, the early game, it was kind of, it's a little OP just to kind of blast through, but we'll really we want to get to, like, mining automatically. That would be fun. I don't even know what we can do in the blast furnace. What can we do in the blast furnace? Blast furnace? How do we use it? What can we do? We could blast some plastic. We can make dash iron from deep sleep, dash ore from Ad Astra. Okay, I don't know what that is. Venus gold ore, we can blast. So why bother? What's the blast furnace? Like, really, um, it's doing nothing different than anything else would do for me. There's, I'm sure there's some things here. Oh, look, okay, we can get some steel. You get nuggets, really. That's all you get from that. Um, it just seems like maybe a faster furnace, maybe. Yeah, it's probably just a faster furnace in most situations. I mean, I'm sure there's some things that are locked kind of behind it and, and what you can do, but I made it because I had extra um, furnaces and just thought maybe why not. But I mean, we could put a coal in here and see what happens when I put a ore in it. Will it even work with dust? Oh yeah, it's just significantly faster. I mean, that's kind of cool. Oh, really? We're almost out of copper? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and do 
through some copper. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of cool. Very nice. Very nice. Um, all right, so while that is doing that, so what we're going to do off camera is we're going to go down there, we're going to get some cobble deep slate, we're going to get a few of the um, Ender IO things uh, up and running. I'm definitely going to get the Ender IO um, uh, alloy smelter and the primitive alloy smelter and cobble deep slate and the uh, grains of infinity. That's the main thing. Once we do all that, then we can do something with this region here so that it's a little bit more efficient. We can make the conduits that I want to use so that we can get energy transferred, make the basic capacitors, all of that. So we're going to do all of that, and once we have all those things made, we'll do the setup together so you guys can see how I plan to, um, I don't call it, quote unquote, automate what's going on here. All right, everybody, this is Chuck Thunder. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.